Yo, Spider-Man fans, we are eating good, okay? Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse is hitting theaters this weekend. I got to check out an advanced screening of it last night, and it's seriously one of the best pieces of Spider-Man media I've ever witnessed in my life. And I wake up the following morning to see that a ton of interviews have dropped with the folks at Insomniac Games for Marvel Spider-Man 2, and we got tons of new details. In today's video, we're gonna talk about information in regards to how you switch between Miles and Peter in this game, as well as the open world map size, including including a new borough that's been confirmed. Before we do so though, if you're a Spider-Man fan and you're hyped for all the incredible Spider-Man goodness coming your way this year between Spider-Man 2 and then of course across the Spider-Verse, scroll down, hit that thumbs up button, share the hype, share the love with me, let's go for 5,000 likes. And with that being said, let's get into this now. So a ton of articles have dropped today, like I mentioned, that interviews Brian Intihar, who is the creative director working at Insomniac Games on Marvel Spider-Man 2, and then as well Ryan Smith, who is the game director. Today, we're gonna be looking over the interview that came specifically from Press Start, as they asked them a ton of questions, but I specifically wanna to focus today on some of the gameplay elements they talked about, as well as the open world. And the first question that was asked is in regards to the PS5 and how they're utilizing the power of that console. And Ryan Smith immediately answers the question here saying, number one thing for us on the gameplay side is the speed of traversal that we're able to achieve right now. It of course leverages that loading, but it's a lot more seamless for the player so that you can go much faster. And then what we could do on our side was build a lot of mechanics, whether it be our core swinging experience that we always have or web wings and the wind tunnels that we go with them that allows us to build up that speed, maintain and push that speed for the player. Ryan's just speaking music to my ears right now. I mean, all that sounds good to me. And you can tell from that gameplay demo that not only do we have things like the web wings and those wind tunnels to help increase the speed, but the general web swinging was much faster too. The traversal in Marvel Spider-Man 2 is clearly kicking it up a notch and we're trying to take advantage of the PlayStation 5's hardware. And I'm really looking forward to seeing everything in action just to be able to play it myself too. Continuing though, Ryan Smith also adds here. So it's a lot of fun to just weave those things together. Also, I think in the gameplay reveal, we showed the super slingshots that are in the world that really propel you very quickly just to start traversal and then you can keep it going from there so i think that's the number one sort of spider-man traversal way that the ps5 ssd and loading capabilities come across with flare so yes you know they mentioned the slingshot there and they also confirmed although we all assumed this that there's going to be multiple areas around the open world that allow you to do this slingshot to go either into a web swing or even use the web wings brian intahar then stepped in to talk a little bit about what he thinks is the best part about taking advantage of the PS5's hardware saying that one is the ability to switch between the heroes in the open world. You saw that in the story mission that we created, where in that particular instance, we tell you to switch because Pete's in Queens and Miles is in Manhattan. But those are kind of main story and predetermined. So that's right, we saw the moment, of course, Peter was fighting all of Craven's hunters and he wasn't able to make it to catch the lizard. He had to call in Miles for help as Miles was in Manhattan. And that's where we saw the super slingshot. That's when we saw the web wings, all that stuff revealed. Ryan also adds here saying that in the open Open world you'll have more flexibility to switch between the two heroes we'll have content made for peter content made for miles content that either one can play and with the simple quick button switch you can take control and go around the world and then shannon grixie the writer of this article asked them you know so there's going to be parts in the story mode where you're playing as either peter and miles but will you be able to just freely switch between the two of them when you're free roaming around in the open world brian intar answered here saying in the main story mission we basically are here to tell you who you are we'll have some missions that are peter some miles some that they are both together and then we kind to tell you when based on the story it's kind of crafted around what we want to accomplish with the story and the mission but in the open world we will basically give you the ability to switch between the characters so that you can do whatever you like whether it's a specific piece of content that one character can interact with or you may decide this particular activity where you think how rad to do it with miles and peter and vice versa you have that flexibility and it really changes up the feel of the previous two games by having that flexibility but i just want to see it in action because it sounds like what brian is saying here is is that I could be swinging around Queens as Peter, and then with a button press, I can switch over to Miles, who's all the way in Manhattan. It really sounds like they're taking advantage of the PlayStation 5 SSD, because if you can switch at the snap of a finger between Peter or Miles or vice versa, that would be incredible. But okay, let's talk about the open world now because we know that Queens was introduced in that gameplay demo as one of the new boroughs in New York City that we're gonna be able to free roam around in in Marvel Spider-Man 2. But what if I told you there's more than that? What if I told you we know now the size of the open world in this game? Ryan Smith, the game director working on Marvel Spider-Man 2 at Insomniac Games said, so we've added Brooklyn and Queens. So that's two huge new boroughs that you can explore. I think the map is nearly double the size. So that's really exciting. A lot 
lot of what we did in terms of adding those spaces is think about what makes those spaces recognizable whether it's the residential areas of queens like you saw in the gameplay demo or views and vistas that you would know from your imagination of what new york and brooklyn should look like and make sure those are representative in the game yeah so queens has been confirmed already but we never had brooklyn officially confirmed until now and they're saying that of course with two new boroughs we're basically getting double the map size from the previous game this is nuts man i mean the playground that we had to free roam around in, in the open world from the last two games was already huge knowing it's going to be twice the size with two new boroughs i couldn't be happier i just can't wait for the moment where hopefully if the game starts in manhattan that i get to walk across the entire bridge and not get turned back the other way insomniac was also asked in this article in regards to side missions and side content and what we could expect potentially out of that brian intar said yeah we're not getting into what the open world is at this moment and kind of focusing on the gameplay reveal but yeah obviously we want to put time and attention to making sure that all of our content hits a certain quality bar and has a strong narrative and is only enhancing the experience of being peter and miles and what i've loved about everything that i've read in this article and in general just all the stuff that insomniac has said from the interviews that they have done as of today is that there is a real focus here on making sure that this isn't just you know a peter parker game and then miles is a side character to peter no this is peter and miles's game now of course there's going to be a large focus focus on Peter and what's going on in his life with his character he's got the symbiote now he's going to be battling with that he knows that Harry's dying and Peter's going to be struggling with that but Miles is also a key player here he's not just going to be shoved to the sideline now that we're in Spider-Man 2 and Miles got his own game the point of Miles getting his own game was for him to become his own Spider-Man for us to see that journey so that now we jump into Spider-Man 2 with both of these characters being fully realized as Spider-Men they'll both be integral to the story there's of course going to be an inner conflict there between Miles and Peter Peter now that Peter has that symbiote so there's a lot to see and I'm glad that they're making sure that both the characters are at the forefront and the final thing that I wanted to talk about here was a question that was asked in regards to co-op they wanted to just simply ask the folks here at Insomniac if it was even something that was considered at any point Brian Intahar answered here saying yeah in the announced trailer the blog post said it was a single player game but it was always the goal to have a single player adventure featuring two playable spider heroes so yeah there was never a point in the development of Marvel Spider-Man 2 were they ever even considered to add co-op to this game it was always in its inception a game that they wanted to be a single player story adventure now I don't think co-op would be a terrible thing but Insomniac is free to do what they see is the best version of this game and if for them it's a single player game then that's fine by me and I think I'm gonna wrap it up there there's still a ton of more news to go over but we're gonna talk about it in some other videos keep an eye out on this channel of course make sure you're subscribed make sure those notifications are turned on so that you can be immediately notified when a video goes live and with that said i want to kick it to you guys sound off with your thoughts in the comment section below what do you think about all the information that i provided for you guys here in this video sound off with all your thoughts in the comments below i've been caboose and i'll see you guys later